my project is focused primarily around something called epigenetics. So uh, every cell in your body has essentially the same genome. And you can think about that like the library. It's one library for every cell in your body. And epigenetics is a layer of information that, that manages that, that mediates which books can get checked out and which ones can't. And so sometimes what you find is that age cells will check out the wrong book. And so my project looks at a, a technology, we'll call it, that won the Nobel Prize back in 2006. Shinya Yamanaka discovered for, they're called transcription factors, but that's just a specific type of gene product. And it's four transcription factors that when you, if you express them in a, nor, in, in a cell, like a skin cell, they will become a stem cell. So it's okay. a like a cheat code where you express these factors and you can generate a stem cell. But what people in the aging field realize is that in this process, if you take a 70-year-old skin cell and you turn it to a stem cell, then that stem cell is now zero years old. It also reverts the age. And so this process of becoming pluripotent, becoming a stem cell, is, is also age reversal. We have a program inside of us, humans do, for, for taking two old cells which are adult cells, and then making them perfectly new and generating a baby. We know that oh, we know okay. that it's there, right? It's not as if the baby comes out 10 years older than a 30-year-old couple, right? And so this process of rejuvenation, this built-in process of taking two old cells and, and making a, a brand new one, is what my project is exploiting. It, okay. We're basically trying to figure out, can we tap into some of this rejuvenation in adult normal tissue? 